Which of the following is a non-parametric test? The options that we have are linear regression, Kruskal Wallace test, ANOVA, two sample t test. Now, in order for you to answer this question, you could use the concept of elimination. If you know what is a linear regression, if you know what is an ANOVA, if you know what is a two sample t test, you would easily be able to answer that. Uh, the answer for this question is option B, which is Kruskal Wallace test. But let's just go the right way. Let's try to understand what is a parametric and what's a non parametric test. Uh, a non-parametric test is one in which we don't have a parameter to compare various groups, which is classical for any other tests such as an ANOVA or a two sample t test. Now, if my data is highly skewed, if I have too many outliers and the average that I have for this data is not representative of that particular group, then how would I use that average to compare the various groups and draw conclusions, right? So in such scenarios, we need to resort to what is called as non-parametric tests. Now, Kruskal Wallace test is a type of non-parametric test, which is an alternate for ANOVA. One of the prerequisites for ANOVA is that the groups should be normal. But if the data is not normal, then you could use a Kruskal Wallace test as an alternate to perform a hypothesis test. So that's the right answer. It may be a good idea for you to just go and find out what are the other alternate non-parametric tests for two sample t-test, one sample pair t-test and for all of them. These could be possible questions uh, that you could encounter in the exam.